going on everybody welcome back to the channel welcome back to Fauci cinema and today i am continuing along the hollow scream review series who is what what is when is what is who is buddy 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 you guys want to know what hollow scream is you already should know because this is the fourth week we've been diving into this bad boy but it is this amazing review series with a bunch of amazing youtubers listed at the bottom of the screen right there you can see all of their names Plus, Chris Snyder on Letterboxd is pumping out reviews. We are on week four, August 15th, 2022. We are on Halloween 4, The Return of Michael Myers. After Halloween 3 was pretty much a commercial flop, we had to go back to the roots of the series, and they had to bring back the one, the only, Michael Myers. And that is what happened here today. The Return of Michael Myers. You guys know how I've been starting these bad boys out. I've been giving you a few fun facts about each movie, and this one will be no different. I have a few fun facts about Halloween 4. Let's just get into those. Let me tell you some things you may not have known. Did you guys know that Melissa Joan Hart actually auditioned for the role? Yes, the Sabrina the Teenage Witch auditioned for the role of Jamie. However, they decided to go with an up-and-comer, a newcomer on the block. They went with Danielle Harris, and by golly, by G. Willikers, they did a damn good job. Danielle Harris owned this movie. Shh, you fell in love with the character. I don't know if it would have had the same effect if it would have been Melissa Joan Hart, but I guess we will never know. But Danielle Harris definitely has this movie at the top of her resume, 100%. And that is why she came back for part five, would have came back for part six, but we'll talk about that later. And then came back for Rob Zombies 1 and 2, they asked her to come back. So that's how much of an impact Daniel Harris has had on the Halloween franchise. Another fact, Sheriff Meeker was actually supposed to die in the original film. He was going to be in a battle in the basement of his house with Myers. Myers was supposed to deliver a fatal blow. Something got knocked over. The furnace caught half the whole house on fire. In that end scene where we see Rachel, Jamie, and Myers up on the roof, it was supposed to be engulfed in flames, but due to a lack of budget, they couldn't do that, so they had to rewrite it and go a different route, which I'm really glad they didn't do that because Meeker was a huge character in part five, and I do think he was probably the best sheriff in the Halloween franchise, so I think that would have been an injustice to him and the character if they would have done that. So that is something that could have happened. I mean, I'd like to see it, but that's not what I want in my Halloween, but that is a cool fact I found out today. And nobody may know about this. This is new. This is something I've never heard of. There was a long lost scene. They believe they started to like film it, but they never actually finished it to get it up to film quality. But it was supposedly uh, like a flashback scene or whatnot showing how exactly Dr. Loomis was rescued from Haddonfield Memorial that night and back in 1978. And, you know, one of the last things that he was doing in the scene was he was trying to prevent the firefighters from putting out the fire. Does that ring any bells? That kind of sounds like what happened in Halloween Kills. And you know what Dr. Loomis said? Let him burn! Man, that sounds like something that Lori Strode said when she was in the back of the pickup truck. Let it burn! Let it burn! Gotta let it burn! Let it burn! So that's a fun fact, because that kind of came, actually came to fruition how many odd years later in Halloween Kills. Lori, Allison, and Karen, they didn't want the firefighters to go back and rescue the house. They wanted it to burn. So that's kind of, I don't know if that was a wink and a nod, but it would have been a very subtle one because I don't think most people would even have known that. But those were some fun facts, and now I think it's time to jump in the meat and potatoes of this video. What you guys are here for, I'm talking about my Halloween 4, the return of Michael Myers kill ranking. Let's go. All right. I got all this information from Dead Meat, so they're very trustworthy. I've used them in the past on my videos. They said 
there was 11 deaths in the film. Obviously, they lumped some of the scenes together because it was multiple deaths in one spot. So that's the way I'm going to do it. So I counted 11 total deaths to rank. And I'm fired up to get into this. So let's do it right now. Coming in at number 11, I got the waitress from the diner. Reason being, we don't actually know what happened. Was she stabbed? Was she choked? Was she hit with something? We have no idea. We just, Dr. Loomis just sees the dead body there laying on the ground and the phone's ringing. Even though that is an iconic scene whenever we get to see Michael and Dr. Loomis is looking at him and saying, Don't go back to Haddonfield. P please leave those people in peace. God damn you, Michael. That's a good scene, but the death, eh, last place. Number 10, Ted Hollister. He is killed by the gang of rednecks. You haven't got a police force! You haven't got a police force. So the only hope you've got. So they go out, they think they see Michael Myers. It was probably one of the kids earlier that was in the Michael Myers costume. They think he ducked behind bushes and they shoot him with shotguns and whatever other kind of guns they got. Not exciting. Myers didn't do it. Not good enough for me. Number 10. Shit, Earl. It's Ted Hollister. Number nine, I have the other paramedics in the bus in the beginning of the film. Yes, there's blood everywhere, so who knows? Bodies could have been flown out, they could have been floating in the water, we don't know, we have no idea. And maybe Michael didn't even kill them, maybe he just crashed the ambulance and that was it, we have no idea. But I think just based on the blood and, and the atmosphere in that scene with the ambulance in the water and Dr. Loomis walking over to it, I think that was good enough to put it above those other ones. So I have that at number nine. Number eight, I this might hurt some people's feelings. I got the all-American man out there working in the dark. I'm talking about Bucky, just out there doing his job. Don't you try that Halloween bullshit with me. Don't try that Halloween shit with me. All right. I'm on the telephone to the police right now. Don't you even think about leaving. Called the uh, fucking police, bitch. Goes to call the police. Michael sneaks up behind him, looking like Michael Jackson when he's getting electrocuted. <laughs> and Bucky gets electrocuted to death. Nothing crazy, nothing great. Michael's plan to knock out the power to Haddonfield. Such a smart son of a bitch. I like Bucky. I didn't want him to die. He needed a bigger role. He needed a bigger role. But that's why he came in at number eight. Number seven, I have Deputy Logan. I know what you're thinking. Wait, we didn't even get to see that one. I know. But the atmosphere in the house was amazing. It was dark and eerie. And he didn't know where Myers was. And that one shot, if you're looking closely, you can see him in the background. It's really hard to tell. I haven't noticed it until just recently, but he's hiding in the background. We don't actually know what happened to Logan. Uh, Kelly Meeker finds him like laying on the ground. It looks like he had blood all over his face and maybe his like bones were twisted and shit. But man, Michael would have beat that guy's ass. And he had to have done it pretty stealthily because there was other people in the house and he didn't make a damn noise. So Deputy Logan coming in at number seven. Number six, Deputy Pierce in the scene at the police station. That's whenever the scene that we always wanted to see, but we never got to see it. Michael Myers going to the police station in tearing shit up as far as i know in this research there was only a couple officers in that building there was deputy pierce and there was probably two other people even though it looked like a lot more but that's what i read but just looking at what ha that's one of those moments where what had to happen here for the building and the place to look like this like loomis says they didn't know what they were fighting they didn't know what what michael myers was because they probably weren't around 10 years ago and now they're on the force and they were not prepared for what evil Myers brought to them. And what he did, blood everywhere, broken bodies, torn apart. Pure evil is what happened in this scene. Number six, Deputy Pierce in the police station massacre. Number five, I have the opening kill of this movie, The Attendant. You know, he's just talking about, he, Myers has not really been moving around much, but then they bring up, they bring up his niece, Jamie, and that gets the blood pump and he heard it, you see his hand,
see his hands start to clench. And they're just chit-chatting back and forth. And then Myers brings that ham hand up, puts the thumb into his skull, and the blood comes pouring out while the other attendant is just screaming. Great opening kill. Wish we would have lingered on it more, maybe watched him tear apart his face. But it's still a damn good kill, and I loved it. Number five, the, the medical attendant, beginning of the film. Number four, I have the mechanic. We get to see Myers doing some damage in the bandages, dude. I know a lot of people wish he would have wore the bandages for the entire movie. But I know what people would have said. If that's the way they would have gone, people would have bitched about it later and say, he should have had a Michael Myers mask. I hate this. This isn't my Michael. This isn't Myers. Okay. So they gave us a Michael Myers mask. And yes, it's not the best. I get it. I really, really like it. The Trick or Treat Studios one, amazing. No retouching necessary. Looks just like the movie. I think it's a badass mask. But we get to see, picks up this big tall metal rod and rams it into the mechanic and that's where he gets his iconic jumpsuit back again. Luckily, killing someone who is the exact same, similar size as him. Ah, oh, the plot conveniences of these movies. I love it. And then he gets to drive again because he was doing very well last night. Whole gas station explosion. Great scene. I like the kill. It was very eerie and creepy. The way Annie gets displayed later, Loomis finds them all hung up in chains. Badass. Love it. Mechanic number four. Number three, I got Kelly Meeker in her gigantic breastuses getting slammed through the door with a shotgun. It could be a symbolism here. Could be symbolism. She wanted to have sex. She wanted to be penetrated. Michael penetrates her with a long rod. Am I, am I, tell me I'm wrong. In the comments, tell me I'm wrong. You can't. It's a sexual reference. She was horny. She wanted the D. Myers gave her the end of the rifle instead. Frank Riker, don't kill me. I know you love the Kelly Meeker kill probably because you love Kelly Meeker. I'm not that big of a fan. She has beautiful breastuses, kind of a little bit of a butter face, just in my opinion. She's probably about a six out of 10. And she was doing doing dirty Rachel. So fuck you, Kelly Meeker. Michael said, we ain't having none of that adulterating shit on my watch. Shotgun through the stomach, number three. Number two, I have, let me read these off to you because I never knew their names besides Earl. I found their names to be Orson, Allen, Unger, and Earl. I'm talking about the truck massacre on the escape from Haddonfield. Michael is somehow hanging on back there. And by the way, the deputy that pulls them over, I believe, is the same guy that wrote this movie, if I'm not mistaken, that directed or wrote this movie. I'm, I'm pretty sure. Don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure I read that somewhere. But they're pulling, they're driving away. Myers pops up, starts stabbing the shit out of the people, throwing them off of the truck. Oh, great shit. Earl driving has no idea what's going on. He thinks something's up, but he doesn't know. Myers punches through that window, grabs his neck, and rips the shit out of it. Very good special effects. Love the whole third act of this movie. One of the best ones in the franchise. Um, you can't beat it. Michael gets his face slammed on the windshield. And he's like, Arr! great shit. Love all those deaths. I just lumped them in the one since it was one complete scene. So I didn't want to split it apart and do it individually. Number two, the truck massacre. Coming in at number one, somebody who deserved it early on in the movie, but redeemed himself by trying to stick up for Rachel and fend off Michael Myers. I'm talking about Brady, and he gets his next snap, and you hear every bone breaking in there. Kind of similar to Halloween 3 season of The Witch when the thug comes in and busts his nose apart. This time, breaking a neck, you, he's spitting the blood out. Why Brady spit the blood out? I got no idea. He was going to die anyway. But at least he tried to fight Michael Myers. He hit him with a shotgun, but then he got grabbed, and then Michael just picked him up and started sh strangling that bitch like a rag doll. <laughs> Jamie. Oh, Rachel. Rachel. Brady! Brady! Oh. Shit. Shit. Brady, come with us! Go! Brady! Get up there, Rachel! Shit. Brady! Get up there, Rachel! Ready, come with us! Go! Oh, 
broke his neck. Bye bye, Brady. She gone. But it is definitely the best kill in this movie. And I, I really did like his character. He, he definitely redeemed himself as the movie went along. And I remember him, if I'm not mistaken, from Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Christy Swanson. I believe he was he was uh, Fuller or whatever his name was. The one guy turned on in a werewolf on the court. Boom! Blew my mind when I found that out again. But the kills in this movie were a lot better than the kills in Halloween 3 for me personally. In Halloween 4 in general is one of my favorite movies in the entire franchise. I have this movie lit top 3. Halloween 4 is top 3 for me. I love the mask. I love the atmosphere. It probably has the best fall atmosphere of any of these movies. You can't go wrong with Halloween 4. If you're looking to get in the Halloween mood, jump on Halloween 4. 100%. Those are my kill rankings. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. A comment goes just as far as a like on the videos. It really does. I need to know your favorite kill. Also, definitely make sure to hit the like button for me. It means the world. And if you are new here for some chance, please think about hitting the subscribe button and ringing the bell. Because anytime a new video is uploaded, you'll be the first to know and help come back and support me. And if you are looking to support me in any other way, links are below to my Patreon, my Buy Me A Coffee, and my YouTube memberships. The highest perk, 15 bucks. Two months on, you get yourself a Fauci Cinema t-shirt. Also, get to be, be a guest on a BTM podcast episode with myself and James. Or, come on, watch until you drop with me and Brett. I already have two of those lined up. Two of my patrons, LaMontra, he's coming on to watch Scream. And Kyle Curtis Flett is coming on to watch the Dawn of the Dead remake. So if you want to come and hang out with us, all you got to do is join that top lever tier. And you will be one of my straight fire patrons. And I will love you forever and ever and ever. We part and now we're done. But thanks guys for checking it out. Love you guys so much. Check out the rest of these Hallow Scream review series. Check out every other channel. They're doing a great job. And if you're looking to watch my, the other videos, I'll put a card right up here. You guys can check the rest of my videos out in the Hallow Scream Kill Ranking series. And I'll see you next Monday as we jump into Halloween 5, The Revenge of Necklace Myers. I mean, Michael Myers. Have a scary day.